Hi all Minecrafters, this is Wood with a new Minecraft video. This is episode 8 of my post 1.8 Let's Play. And today I want to go explore the abandoned mineshaft in my uh, in my mine tunnels I found. But first I just want to show you uh, some of the small additions I've made to my world. I've set up a, a chest here with full of goodies to uh, make some tests further in the series in a close future down here I have the mob trap I saw that working for now I only go collect things this way <laughs> and down there I dug some more I was looking for slimes, so I've exactly dig all of the the area of the mob trap, which is exactly up here, and uh, I've dug it uh, on the bedrock floor, and here, well in fact at first it wasn't here, it was up there. Just on this side uh, there was an opening and there was a big slime there. I blocked off the place and uh, isolated those four chunks here, here, here and there. I've built a wall ar around them and come check time to time if there was any slime in it. And uh, in this chunk I've seen three medium slime and one small spawn. So I'm pretty sure this is the one but the uh, spawn are very very low so uh, I'll build a test slime farm here eventually so that's uh, some of the additions in this side um, I need to prepare a bit for uh, my adventure so I need a couple arrows so while camping in here, I will try to get some uh, flint from this gravel to make arrows, because I got uh, tons of feathers from the chicken. So I'll do that, and I'll be right back uh, in a couple seconds. And we are back. Still at it. Um, I'm stopping after this. I'm bored to tears it's painful <laughs> um, so I'm gonna get equipped and we are going to go in the mine shaft abandoned mine shaft and in hope to find uh, melon seed uh, you notice here I change my farm I doubled the size and I changed all the trees to birch uh, because they grow five minimum and I think at the maximum it's of seven so at a block here on the ninth block uh, they always grow six six tall max so I can harvest them without jumping on the first block and uh, yeah I needed a couple a lot more wood so I went ahead and made this. Um, just grab those. So here, um, this and that. I wanted to have uh, as much flint as feathers, but I think I have a couple of uh, arrows spare. It should be fine. So we'll just make those three. grab some wood. Uh, by the way, I've been mining a bit. This is what I've got of precious ore, some redstone. Um, these are some block I found a dungeon. Zombie one killed it. Mine some obsidian. But we want wood here. It's 
sticks. So an arrow, yeah, logically. Good. Hmm? Um, like that. Wow, that makes a ton. That's perfect. Good, good, good. Uh, drop the mob loot. Uh, the gravel, don't need any more. Food. Starting to have a great supply of food. Need to throw some eggs in the barbecue soon. Oops. So, I have all I need in this chest. I'm gonna put all those arrows in there. Yeah, okay, that's a great lot. That's excellent. So, these are all the arrows I got. Um, I need this armor, I need to make a bow. We'll bring some ladders, and I want some food. And... Uh, arrows. I'll just say, a tree stack will be plenty. Okay, so a bow. Uh, no, that's not it. Like that. Yeah. And now we're equipped. Let's put on the armor. Just drop the sticks in here for the moment. I've got my basic survival gear. Let's go. Wheat field almost ready. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna wait um, for the night to set and then gonna sleep so I can start my adventure in the morning. Because I'm kind of paranoid and I don't like having Enderman walk around my world at night, so uh, I basically t try to sleep every night. Um, so I'll just have a quick cut here and I'll see you guys right after. We're back and ready to adventure. Mushroom farm? Still don't have any red mushroom. If I can find this in the cave that would be awesome. I'm gonna show you real quick while we're here. Uh, the advancement on my branch mine. I made just, in fact, I dug uh, one layer. So I have 10 of these branch that goes 30 block. So 10 this way, 10 this way. Same thing here, 10, 10. And I've started just to identify where are the next level. And our adventure is going to be in here. Uh, there. So this is the abandoned mine shaft I found during my mining. I know there is light here because this is again my mine mineshaft that are going there. So it's me who put the torch there. Ah, oh, yeah. That's me. Four torches. <laughs> huh. I guess I'm going to have a cut. And I'll see you guys at the same place, but with a full stack of torches. Abracadabra. Oh, that's magic. A full stack of torches appeared in my inventory. Nice. Hearing something. Great, full of gravel. Okay, I'm hearing spiders. 
pretty sure that's not the the fun kind. Oh, and there's some friends here, a lot of them. Okay, first time firing a bow. It's not too bad. Okay, so... Um, is there anything in here? No. I must have hit him once with an arrow. A lot of lava in here. Okay, I'll just block that. Um, if I can without dying. That should do it. And put some lights. Just do the same thing on this side. And moving on. Nothing here. Oh. There's a place I can go down in here. Here's the zombie. No more zombie. I'm kind of paranoid in here. Oh my god, a chest. And no melon seeds. Oh. Still, that's a great find. Lapis. Ah! I so did not see him. Okay, here's water. We'll head this way another time. I guess I could collect the materials I find. Meanwhile, won't be lost. And I won't have to come back here to get them another time. That's a win win. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. So there they are. The infamous cave spiders. You wanna come at me, bro? Oh no. Like a noob. I got poisoned. No, 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 no. Oh. 
Oh, they're Ooh. hardcore. Ooh. Spawner is there. Um, I need to not let it activate. Perhaps this far should be enough while my health regen. It is, yeah, okay. Hmm. So, cave spider, they're annoying. And to get there, I need to break the strings. So, I'll take my sword because I didn't bring my shears. That's not a big problem, though. Okay, I see some. Okay, let's go. Um, no, I'm just gonna break it. No, no, no. Oh. Annoying thing. I fear there's one behind me. Oh. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Will I die? No, I think I cannot die from poisoning. Please? Please? Phew! Anything else back there? I guess not. Okay, well... One less cave spider spawner, I guess. Moving on, moving on. Um, yeah, I guess I need to go where the water was, or didn't go this way. Another chest. Awesome. Bread, bread, and coal. Still no melon seeds. Grr. If you heard that, it's some um, feedback from my speakers from I don't know what. rail nice uh, I'm not healing anymore good thing I spot that Whew. let's steal those Okay, so finally something new in here. Hearing more spiders. And these plates are all broken up. <laughs> no wonder they're abandoned. So there's nothing in here. Still. 
Oh, nothing, and this goes down. Oops. Oh. Into a normal cave. That's not what I want to explore. Although, there could be still. Yeah. There's more mineshaft in here. This looks like a, the job of an Enderman. So I'm at bedrock. Wow. That's great. So ancients were mining the bedrock. Because I guess they can only be ancient since I'm there now and they're not. Okay, a bit of mining. This makes it all the more scary, the fact that I'm uh, in uh, at bedrock. Even though you've lighted the thing, you can't see Jack in front of you. Like, that's exactly where I went, I, I bet. I may be lost a bit. Yeah, so I was saying that I was paranoid earlier and I was always going to sleep to avoid the night. Well, it does uh, keep Enderman at bay from uh, my base, but it makes it that they can only be in the caves. So they miss all of this around and maybe even steal my ore. I don't know if they can pick up ore blocks. Not sure I've been I've seen this in tests from people on YouTube. Well so far um the quest is uh, not a real win and I'm lost again. Oh. <laughs> Let's go here. <laughs> Uh, this is where I went down. Okay, let's go back up. And this way. Yeah, these are ender blocks, clearly. I um, need more torches. I'm hearing something. Must be a creeper, since I'm not hearing anything except walking. <laughs> Funny sometimes how just a bit of gravel can hide the. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So, diamond and melon seed. Let's hope. Oh, yeah, and a diamond. Awesome. Quest complete. I can stop boring you now with the exploration of this stupid mineshaft. <laughs> no, I kid. They're not stupid. They're just strange a bit, I guess. Um, oh. Okay, collecting the resources. And the 
this is the end. Let's see what we got. That's two. That's three, four. Nice. Five. Yep, five diamonds. Awesome. So I guess we could say this mission was a great success. If I ever find the exit. I was thinking to have a a pattern with the torches, but I totally forgot about that. So no pattern. <laughs> Let's just see what's here. Nothing. All right. Add it on to the surface. I'll have a cut if I don't die, otherwise I'm gonna show you so you can laugh. And I'm gonna see you on the surface. Another chest! Cool. Let's see what's in it. Again, melon seeds, great. So I guess these mine shafts are kind of good. Plenty of stuff to get. Good stuff. Alright guys, so we did it. Mission successful. I, Although I did not find my way out, I had actually to pillar out at some point. And conveniently, it just happens to be right here <laughs> just behind my spawn bunker so I've made it with seven uh, melon seeds already built a small farm just put two seeds there in hope to have some melons to have more seeds to eventually build a real melon farm and also gathered six diamonds, uh, about a stack of iron, a little more than a stack of redstone, half a stack of gold, uh, half a stack of lapis, and that's about it. Melon seeds, I killed one seeds. Oh, by the way, I found cocoa beans in the dungeon, if I didn't tell you. Uh, yeah, I, I wanted to move my farm, so I hit one seed, and apparently when you plant it and break it, it does not give you your seed back. So, I lost one. Not a big prob problem. As long as I have one, I can grow melons and have more. So, that will be it. And wanted to show you something here found another piggy uh, third one actually that I bring all the way to here I actually uh, expanded the little room a bit before pushing it in so it doesn't die in the wall like the last one and it actually was even longer than last time I think it like took eight or nine minutes. I found him at the test area, so I have to push him all the way around here. Oh, it was so long. Can't wait, can't wait for 1.9 to bring them in the real area where they will uh, be <coughs> mating. And uh, yeah, they'll just follow me with wheat in my hand, so it will be easy to, uh, b uh, by then. And uh, I guess that concludes this episode. I hope I did not bore you to tears with my exploring of the abandoned mineshaft. And um, yeah, still it was a great success. So that will be all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please rate, leave any comments. Uh, if you want me to do some more exploration, 
like I did today, do tell me. Because when, when 1.9 comes out, I I would like to do that. Oh, farm. Uh, tree farm is ready to harvest. Oh yeah, just a quick thing about the tree farm. Oh, it grew. Finally, it took ages. So the reason it was so long, I guess it's because um, this tree can only grow uh, five tall, I guess. Yeah, because I have the block at on the top at the eight block above the sapling. And I have a cobblestone ring here at the fourth block. So this will force the tree to grow over four blocks of wood and under six because of the top block. So if you want uh, normal trees in your farm and don't have any uh, leaves at the, your head level, that's what you need to do. Put a ring, a cobblestone ring at the fourth block around the tree. But like I said, it took ages for it to, gr to grow. So birch, uh, I guess, is uh, more convenient so yeah that is it and next episode we will do what exactly I'm not sure maybe slime farm or mess around on the test area finally uh, use it for something <laughs> all right so that will be all for today hope you liked it and see you next time bye